Um, these are the equipment supplies I use for uh, my uh, paintings and calligraphy art. Um, first, we need to have a grinding stone like this. Uh, slate stone that being carved like kind of well here and the flat area to grind these inks. These are two types of uh, sumi inks that the Green Jade supplies carry. Uh, this is a basic student uh, sumi ink, which is made of a uh, suit of uh, either oil base uh, lump or wood suit. We call kuratake. And when you have sumi and this is the slate storm that no water oh my let's see just a little bit of drop there we go uh, you uh, you have a uh, perfect uh, condition water sumi stick and grinding stone start making this movement of circle continual movement Let's see uh, water changing color into a black color and also you can see a uh, little oil like top layer on the water surface because this particular sumi ink is made out of a uh, uh, oil oil lamp. They collect all the soot to make a uh, like a dough kind of mixed with a glue, which is usually fish glue, and some fragrance. Some has a comfort or sandalwood. Continue to make a circle movement like this. When this part gets dark, you're gonna push it. This part and bring new part. So you do this maybe few minutes according to how thick you wanted to uh, uh, make a uh, to certain calligraphy should be dark and paintings could be a little less uh, dark black. So. That's how you make a sumi ink. And you can put this on the other area, um, not on the uh, scissory stone to leave it like this is a bad example because glue will uh, eventually stick scissory and stick together. So you have to take sumi ink to kind of on the plate on the side. So the other sumi stick is comes in a fancy wooden box and uh, a little bit bigger. This is Ohana Sumi Ink, same company, but this is a little more uh, darker than one we just grind it, um, made for pretty much for calligraphy. Both are good for calligraphies and uh, uh, paintings, but um, this one is, I would call, uh, professional quality. This one is student quality. Uh, I use both, but uh, for most of my students, I recommend the uh, student quality. So. When you are uh, ready to use your brush, this one is already being used, already all dark and tip. Uh, you charge sumi here or here for a big, uh, thick calligraphy or paintings, bamboo trunk or something. You you charge a little more here, and control uh, excess here, ink here. Use edges to make a point. My uh, brushes 
uh, usually uh, this type of brush I use. It's chori brush. We carry medium and small. They are excellent for calligraphy and paintings. Has two types of a uh, top this uh, brush area. Uh, one uh, white one is sheep, and inside can open this to show you. I mean, uh, this is all kind of glued till you use it, formed in a uh, certain shape. I cannot uh, show you inside till uh, melt this glue in the water, but inside has horse hair, so it gives a little more uh, bouncy or um, uh, stability. So those two brushes I use for my calligraphy and the paintings. Now I can uh, show you some uh, quick uh, demonstration. So let me move uh, these things a little bit to the side. Individual sheet paper. We sell that uh, uh, as a uh, pack, like a this kind of package. Comes forty-eight usually. It's in a paper. You can uh, you can find it in a paper section of a website, and. This you can use, uh, okay, right here, each paper for your different kind of a, uh, practice. The first one usually uh, start with a, one of the four gentlemen is a bamboo, same brush. I can use this bamboo too. Move a uh, brush in the angle. It's like a 30 degrees angle. This one is lifted higher. And joint here. These things that second session in uh, my studio or for the new student practice. Bamboo and orchid. This is Chuli brush. Excellent. I like Chuli brush because. Gives just the right thickness and point on the end. It's not easy to maintain this kind of point uh, each time when you use it. Usually they open and doesn't come back. But this does, this Choli brush is one that uh, usually comes back like this by itself. So when you have a piece of paper like this, you finish with your name and uh, uh, here maybe I can do it here, date like a, that's 11 months, 19 Today, 19, 2010, date to market, this is when it's been done, okay, showing, and move a little bit to the side, so that's the date, and also you can put your name or your chop. You can just put the chop on the 
bottom, maybe, uh, area, usually. So according to how big your chop is, you have to see where it's going to be, just to have a little bit of a your chop right here to mark it that's done by green jade. The sumi ink is perfect for bamboo uh, and this is a permanent ink. You can keep sumi paintings or calligraphies for a long time. Years, 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 like uh, summer six, seven hundred uh, old calligraphies are kept at, uh, in Japan as a national treasure. I've seen those still good condition if you keep it in a certain condition. So you need basic grinding stone and sumi ink, which this sumi ink I used, and a uh, chori brush, medium or large, and water dropper, oops, dropped one more. And this one you can add it later, a little more, like uh, this are uh, the uh, small dropper that uh, handy to carry around. So anyway, um, please visit Green Jade website for supplies. Thank you.